Hi guys, magic morning once again. This is Yan from Yan Thrive's channel, and I'm on my day day twenty six for Yan Thrive's magic of gratitude. So again, I'm working on a daily basis for the challenge to be grateful daily. So here we go with day twenty six. Day twenty six is kind of very challenging. I have to be honest. It's not really exciting for me because it's something. It has something to do with your emotions, and you would actually turn your pain into something productive, or turning pain into gain, and turning wounds into wisdom. So it's really sort of very challenging. So here we go. Of course, we are just really human beings, so we tend to make mistakes and we learn from them. We automatically sometimes would, you know, it's a fight or flight mode most of the time. If you are going to think about being, you know, having made a mistake for your life on your, you know, your daily life, so you would have to fight for it, or even if, if, or you just really. Go move forward anytime and again perfection really doesn't happen overnight so you we are not really perfect that's a guarantee but we can be better than perfect by embracing failures embracing the unknown and just really let's just say being grateful for who we really are not expecting but accepting everything okay the wholeness the inside and outside of our being all right so we make mistakes we cry from those painful moments we are let's just say preoccupied or overwhelmed for being an adult having to really have a load of everything everything from past the past okay from our present and also looking into the future so that's a very big timeline right and everyone would see it as a rat race but it, it shouldn't be that way so be very careful with your mistakes be very careful with how you deal pain be very careful on mending or you know mending or mending your wounds and ensuring that you are very very careful with learning you are learning how to learn the most important part I do hope you understand the, the statement that I just mentioned earlier about learning how to learn. That's really important because everything is, you know, you just really would say learn everything. Learn as much as you can. Uh, like you have to grasp everything all at once. It's not like that. You have to really learn how to learn. You remember your mistakes. You remember what you were doing. Everything happens really for a good reason. You cannot just blame anyone. You have to own it. You have to be grateful that your previous decisions may, or, and also your behavior made, or those are the things that really make who you are as of the moment or your present moment. So you shouldn't be blaming others your, about your job, your finances, your current home, your situation to others. But it's, everything is really about you. Everything is between the gray matter and in, in our ears here so or, or in my headphones. So this is where everything is starting really. The root cause of your re reality is just really in between your ears. It's here. You're the gray matter. And so, I guess 
that's about really for day 26 magically transforming your mistakes into blessings so if you ex if you let it experience that way if you you sink into your if you just really sink it in that you experience the mistakes and twist uh you know and turn them into blessings right in an instant like a remote control you just press the, press the channel uh the the good channel anytime so if you have a bad feeling or if you're in the moment of really in a, in a very bad feeling at the moment and you just want to really want to switch it magically transform it automatically then just click click uh click the button or press the button for changing it into something better switch it to something good and that's how you magically transform mistakes into blessings for me and that's how i'm creatively thinking of how to to remove the pain uh like really heal the wound okay by changing my thoughts because my thoughts thoughts will thoughts are really reality okay those are making your reality so be very be, be very very careful with Alright, so I believe that would be all for day 26. It's just really the focus for day 26 to magically transform mistakes into blessings. Okay, so let me just count my blessings. Uh, let's start. I am grateful for the deepest introspection going through right now. And thankfully, of course, or through gratitude habits and then the second one is i am grateful for my job i was able to achieve the english level b2 <laughs> upper intermediate Woohoo! but of course aiming higher to c1 or c2 for the immersion exam and i am grateful for my colleagues again i am grateful for all past mistakes I am grateful for recreating myself all over again and again. Never ever giving up. I am grateful for giving me for God for the our Lord God for giving me multiple chances here on earth. <laughs> I am grateful for my children. I am grateful for my, my children and my grandkid. Again, I'm grateful for myself. I am grateful for the money that I've been given throughout my lifetime. I am grateful for the gift of health that is keeping me alive. Okay, so I'm done with the daily practice for counting the blessings. And it also shows here though for the activity that you need to choose one mistake you made in your life. The only mistake that I, for me, that I made in my life was being not truthful to myself that i should change so the 10 blessings that i've found for being not truthful is of course still have a job <laughs> and i still get an increase this year thankfully and i am still not giving up i'm still alive and kicking i'm still here working for my family embracing the unknowns learning from my failures learning how to learn getting the support all the support that I need. Grateful for both the mistakes and the blessings. And I am keeping it real this time. Moving forward at all times. Keeping it real. Mind. Body. Heart. Spirit. Wholeness in me. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so there you go, folks. That's uh, for day 26. And after that one, by the way, do not forget your ma my ma I'll not forget my magic shell, so do not forget your magic rock, okay? And okay, so I believe that will be all for now, folks. Thank you again for your time, taking the time to listen. Thank you for uh, for everything that you do for yourself and your family. And always, always, always be kind, okay? And be grateful at all times. Yeah, and this is Yan from Yan Thrive's channel. Do not forget to subscribe.
share to your family and friends like all of our videos and comment down below again this is yan from yan thrives channel have fun folks thank you for your time and take good care